Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode and today we're gonna be putting the head back onto the engine, onto the block. So as you seen on the last episode, I just done a quick refurb, refurb on the cylinder head, uh, clean it all up, change the valve stem seals, tap the, the valves itself so it creates a better seal and uh, just done a complete clean up and now it's time to start working on the cylinder block itself so the first thing I'm going to do is to um, remove this old gasket and clean up the top so for that um, before I do anything I'm just gonna try to protect the chain in fact I just wanna leave it down there which I can then collect from there or pull out um, and I'm gonna use this old rag just gonna stuff it in a hole like so and this will stop the debris from going inside the bottom end so I just gonna get a razor blade try to lift this gasket which is lifted in some places but not others um, take my time and clean this top end so sit back enjoy the video remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time it's clear to see from up here the world seems small we can sit together it's so beautiful All right, guys. So let me give you a quick overview, overview while I'm uh, halfway through uh, doing the engine. So you can see that this side is done. Uh, just all the gaskets been removed. It's flat um, and it's clear of gasket. And on this side, you can see where's residue of the gasket which makes it higher than the actual uh, surface uh, so all of that has to be removed and all I used was a razor blade uh, a window um, scraper razor blade little brush and the pick just to get it into these crevices here okay baby and a little screwdriver just to get into this areas there and there uh, just to take any any type of um, corrosion salt grime anything so I'm gonna carry on and uh, this side now so 
let's see what I'll be able to do from here. So now that the top of the cylinders are clean, there's no more residue of the gasket, the old gasket, it's time to start reassembling again. So let me give you a look. I got my trusty Ains manual and this is the bit that I'm interested in, um, cylinder head reassembly and it's got uh, extensive explanation on what to do backed up with pictures uh, so what I'm going to do as you see there's no more residue it's all flat um, there's a new gasket and all the new necessary gaskets I did not change the bottom gasket because um, it doesn't require me to uh, for the job I'm doing, so I'm just going to change the top one. So I'm going to get onto it and bring you along and give you an explanation of what I'm doing as I'm doing it. Um, hope this is helpful for you if you're doing the same job. Alright, so this should give you a good view of what's going on. Let's start. Place the cylinder gasket over the studs. So, step one. So this is why it's so important to have a manual of what you're doing. So as I disassembled the engine, this was underneath the um, gasket, but the manual says that it, this has to go over the gasket. All right, so here we go again, gasket goes in. There's the gasket in. There's this little piece that fits in through there, just like so. And there's the four little O rings that go in here. Before I do anything else is locate top that center which is just here. The next step is to fit the cylinder back on top of These are copper washers and the copper washers sit on cylinder one. Then we use the bolts, I'm just gonna place them by hand, not tight.
so next step is to tighten up this cylinder head onto the block crisscross pattern so that'll be number one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve as per the manual 15 first Now we go to the second phase where it is 31. So something very important, once you use your torque wrench and to keep it up to spec, always unwind it until it's just loose, just touching the spring and store it this way. So this way it will keep it spec for a very long time. Next step, assemble the crankshafts. Gently. You got marks on the shafts. Uh, so if you see in here, it has a eye. Well, not on this side, it's actually on the opposite side. It has an eye, and this one has an E. And that's how you know they're going in the right location. So when I disassemble this engine, you can go and check the um, video right here. Um, I made some marks with a Sharpie on where the position of the cams was. Uh, I have noticed that the actual cams have a dot which is visible so let me do it before I do this you see here there's a little dot on the shaft and this here is the mark I done with the Sharpie. So when I removed the shafts, they were like this. Um, but I gonna double check here with the manual, which I believe the shafts were upside down. So this is the right orientation the shaft should be. The manual says first to fit the guides so next thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna lubricate the shafts just like so as well as the lobes same way that it's been removed I'm gonna place all the cups all right so now that I have all the cups um, lightly tightened up or just by hand I'm gonna use 
my little uh, screwdriver thing with this 10 mil. Just gonna lightly tighten them up. So, let me tell you what's going on. I've rotated the engine 180 degrees and at the flywheel is showing top dead center and the exhaust is at top dead center. The intake is one tooth out. Um, so what I'm going to do is just gently undo all of this and redo it. Now I am 100% sure that I am at top dead center. So now that I removed the old gasket of the tensioner as well, and I removed the back bolt. So once you remove this uh, tensioner of the engine, uh, this is what happens. So it is spring loaded and it's got a little click that doesn't let it back off so you need to remove this back uh, retaining bolt and the spring out you need to compress it so just press this little tab there press it there compress it back and this way you can place it back into its original place. So once you have the tensioner in place, ready to fit the spring onto the tensioner like so um, just want to show you that's a top dead center and you can see in here top dead center top dead center mark everything is aligned so all I gotta do now is get the I believe 19 millimeter in there and rotate it so that the C mark down here, down there, goes with the pointer in there. So that then I can fit this bolt or spring retainer for the tensioner back in and place tension on the chain. This is not the actual gasket I will use. It's just a temporary measure. So there's no um, debris getting inside the engine while the new gasket arrives. So just place it on a groove on this little groove but. There you have it guys, uh, as simple as that, the engine is all back together, I've put in the um, covers back on it on both sides as well as spark plugs just to protect it from um, anything getting into the engine as well as placing some blue rag on the exhaust ports and on the inlets 
So this is how simple it is to uh, take engine apart and put it back together. Uh, the only thing you need is one of these um, Ains manuals, which is absolutely essential to do this type of work. I hope you enjoyed the videos. If you do, um, drop us a like, um, subscribe and press the bell down there to know when I get new videos. Um, I know I ask this way too much, but it's the only way I get to um, to increase the channel and uh, make it better and be able for myself to create more and better content for yourselves. So that's all for this episode and um, hope you enjoy it. Take it easy, ride safe. I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.